everybody and welcome back to day 11 of the Ramona virus co-ed 19 days of exercise thank you so much for being here again with me we are on our third week this is our third week of exercise I had to think about that for a minute it's like wow it went by really fast so we have nine more days to go on our 19 um, and I'm excited today we're gonna do legs again um, also I just want to should have started off and said, I hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend. We just had a holiday weekend, and uh, I'm hoping that you guys were able to get out and enjoy the, the weather and be with some family and celebrate the wonderful hol holiday that we just had, um, or just stay home and relax and enjoy your weekend. So anyways, back to today, Monday, day 11, we are going to work our legs today, and um, I'm going to keep it somewhat simple, um, we're going to incorporate some things that we've already done and learned and um, we're going to work our uh, inner thighs as well as our glutes and um, all right so let's get started. So we're going to start with a stretch and my uh, we're going to do the hamstring step stretch. So we're going to get down on our back, crossing right leg over left, a good, a good hip stretch. Always good to do this one every day. And breathe as you're pulling in your left leg. Yeah, I think I do this one every day. It's just, it's a really good stretch. So, now I know I've said that before, broken record, but it is a really, really good uh, hip and hamstring stretch. Pull your right leg up. All right, then we're going to just sit up and do a right leg over the left and reach uh, as far as you can over to the right and give a nice um, stretch this way also um, in your waist. And across again. Nice stretch and pull in your waist. <sighs> okay, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Uh, we had tornado warnings this weekend. No tornadoes, but I hate getting those warnings. Makes you wonder, oh my goodness. All right, on your back, pull your knees up. Bring your head to your knees. Give a good pull. And breathe. Oh, here we are on Monday, another week. Time's going by too, too fast. Uh, all right, so we're going to do the hip flexors again. Nice stretch, put, pushing down your knees as much as you can. Uh, lean forward and reach. Feeling that lower back pull. Get a good stretch. And breathing. Oh. And then uh, your neck, reach to your right shoulder. Or your head to your right shoulder. Stretching your neck. <laughs> it's Monday. And to the left side. Oh. And then let's just reach forward to end our stretching. Head down. Hmm. Alrighty. So we are ready to start our abs, which we're going to do abs today. I do have something new I saw. Um, I want to give it a try. So again, I practiced. And you're going to need for uh, today's exercise, um, you can, we're going to do with or without weights again, um, water jugs, uh, the weights that you're comfortable with, and uh, I brought bands, and also paper towels you can use for our tummy exercise and um, leg exercises that we're going to do, or wash rags. So I brought a couple of washcloths out here with me. Um, 
that we'll be using. So our first apps that we're going to do, I'm going to use my uh, weights and I'm going to put them up over here and they're mostly for holding steady. I've done this exercise before and um, I also held on to my couch um, just to hold on for leverage because you're going to be doing pull-ups and bring your uh, back end up as high as you can. So I'm going to use weights to hold me uh, this time. Hopefully they're heavy enough. We're going to give it a try. Uh, yeah, I think I'm angled in there. Oh, I think so. And then we're just going to pull our legs up as high as you can, getting your rear end off the ground a few times. And then we're going to turn those into uh, knees, knees down like um, towards your face. So yeah, so it's going to be up. And we're going to do that a few times. And then we're just going to bring our knees in like that and it's kind of a good crunch and lower ab exercise all right ready and we're going to do just a few leg ups and then we'll end with 20 uh of the knee knee and crunches all right there's just a few to get started one two three and then we'll do one more and hold it up four and then one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, eighteen, and twenty. All right. Uh, oh. So that's one ab exercise done. I think I'm going to leave my weights there and stay out of the way for what we're going to do next. Uh, the next ab exercise I have is um, you're going to be in a plank position, putting your feet on your washcloth. So you can either do a, let me see, put my feet on my washcloth. So you can have your hands straight up, or if this exercise is easier, you can uh, be on your elbows, plank position, and then you're going to bring both feet in. So in and out, also a good crunch, lower ab exercise, and we're going to do 20. All right, go. Three. Hold your stomach it best you can. Thirteen. 16, 18, one more, ooh, oh, that's good, that was a new one, new one for me, I like it, I hope you do too, that was a good one, all these little tricks you can do at home to work your lower abs, and you don't need a gym to do it. Awesome. <sighs> okay, so the next one we're gonna do is kind of the same. It's like a mountain climber in the plank position, only we're gonna do one leg at a time. <sighs> so you get back in this position, putting your feet back on your towels, but we're gonna uh, pull up one leg at a time. So you're gonna go like that, and that would be one. Whew, let me catch my breath. All right, 20 on each side, ready and one, two, three, four, hold your stomach in, seven, ten, Come on, we can do this. 15. 19. One more. Oh, wowie kazowie. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I have one more. I hope I can do it. 
All right, let me take a little 30 second break. We're gonna be in the same position. Uh, let me see, I'll show you this way. Uh, so you're gonna be, I'm gonna go back over there, but same position, feet on your, on your uh, washcloth, but you're gonna slide your uh, right leg out first, left leg out second. And we're gonna do that 20 sides, 20 on each side. And that will be a uh, oblique exercise. Holy kazoo. Again, your feet on your towels or your paper towels or napkins. All right, 20 each side. Ready? And go on. Stomach in. Four. Six. Nine. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. One more. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do a little stretch. Oh, good. That was a good tummy exercise. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hmm. Oh. It's Monday. We got new tummy exercises. Yay. Oh, we're starting our week off great. Getting our abs in shape, working off any fattening stuff we ate over the weekend. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Sorry about that. If I'm breathing heavy, I don't mean to. Ooh, water break. Let's do that before we start our legs. Mm. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do our normal three sets. I have four different leg exercises that we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do three sets, 10 to 15, each exercise. If time allows, I may throw a fifth one in there. We'll see where we're at. All right. So this can be done with or without weights. Again, we're going to be working our inner thighs. <sighs> Lift this over a little bit. Inner thighs and our glutes in today's uh, workouts. So we're going to start with um, like sumo squats, feet pointed out. As you squat down, it works your inner, inner thighs. So have your feet out best you can. Anytime you squat, you really don't want your knee to cross past the, your uh, toes. Keep in good position. Again, this is can be done with or without weights. And we're going to do our first set, 10 to 15. And go. One. Six. Try to push down on your heels. 15. Oh. Yeah, as you're pushing up, the more you concentrate on pushing down more on your heels, the more you will feel uh, it working your inner thighs. Oh. Okay, get ready for our second set. Hmm. Keep moving. Just keep swimming. All right, feet again apart. 10 to 15, ready and just one. Three. 
seven, nine, 10, 13, 15. Okay, rest one more time before our last uh, set. Ooh. If my legs were more sore from Friday's workout with doing no weights, we did the couch potato workout where you use a chair or the couch. They were more sore over the weekend than when we do our exercises with weights. So that was a really, really good leg exercise. If any of you missed it, go back and check out day 10. Leg exercise. It's a really good workout. All right. Okay, and 10 to 15 more, last set, and one, four, six, nine, 13, and last one, 15. Oh, this was there, and water break. Mmm. Mm. I just splash my face. Ah. Chug a lugging. Ah. Ah. All right. The next one we are going to do are narrow leg squats. So again, your feet together as we I mentioned last on a Friday. When you're doing more of your legs apart, you'll feel it more in your outer thighs as well as your glutes. This was going to work more of your inner thighs as well as your glutes. Oh, and then just like you're getting on a toilet or a chair, you're going to bend down that way. All right. So we're going to do 10 to 15 and our first set. Ready? And one. Five, nine, ten, fourteen, and fifteen. First set done. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we had a bunny in our yard this weekend. I was gonna post that yesterday. See, we had our very own Easter bunny. I was gonna put that on Facebook. I forgot, I have it on my phone. So cute, he's just hanging out, cleaning himself. Ah, and sort of hopping through the grass, too cute. Ah. All right, next set, feet together, 10 to 15, and go. One. Five. And ten. And fifteen. Okay. Oh. One more set of our narrow squats, and then we'll move on to our next leg exercise. Oh. We're ready to start our weeks with our nice, in shape, firm legs. Okay, last set, 10 to 15, go. One more. Hee hee. Fifteen. Let me see. Do I need weights anymore? No. I'm gonna put them up here. <sighs> A little water break. 
for our next exercise. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Keep your body moving, keep your blood flowing. The next one we're gonna do, let's see. Looking at time, we have enough time. So we're gonna, we've done these ones before. This is inner thigh. And again, you can use paper towels or washcloths. You only need one for this one because you're gonna do one leg at a time. And it's just like this position, like you're one of those Olympic, I don't know, icing, ice skater person, and in and out. Uh, okay, 10 to 15 on each leg. And at the little hand, there's one, two, three. Kind of go up as you're coming back in. Seven. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's working my inner thighs, but I also feel it in my hip. So nice good stretch on my hip. I like any kind of hip exercise. Cause it's hip. Alright, ready? And one, two. And Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, I like that exercise. You feel it, but it's easy. It's a good, 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 good leg exercise, inner thigh exercise. I like it. I hope you guys do too. All right, ready for our next set? And, ready? Here's one. Four. Eight. Ten. Thirteen. More. All right, left leg. Oh. Oh, okay, ready? Positions and go. One, two, five, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Yeah, it's a good exercise because you work your inner thighs. I'm feeling the good stretch in my hips. Plus the leg that's not going in and out, you're working your, your glute. So that's a good exercise. Oh. Okay, last set on these. Oh. Okay. Okay, and ready, set, and go. One, three, four, five, six, nine, thirteen. Last one. Left leg. Oh, ready? Last one, 15. Oh my goodness gracious me, oh my. Oh, okay. Water break. Oh. Got about 10 minutes, we can, so we'll see. 
I'll probably do two more. They're not hard. The next ones that we're doing, they're not butt killers. Uh, so the next one is just going to be um, a lunge, but a backwards lunge. So you're just gonna reach back uh, like that, each leg, and that would be one. All right, with three sets of those, 10 to 15. Not concentrate on, not concentrating on your inner thighs on that one. I mean, it's not working it, it's working your glutes. Just all part of the area, keeping it in shape. All right, ready? And one, two, if you lose balance. I totally understand. I think I've done that before at the gym. Quite embarrassing. But you just keep going on. Laugh at yourself and go. Six. Just don't hurt yourself. Eight. Reach far back as you can. Ten. Twelve. Feel that in your butt. I feel it. 14, and last one. Oh. Okay, just keep your blood flowing, keep moving. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Leg day, it's a tough one. Oh. We can do it, we can get through it. Power through it. All right, ready, next set. Okay. Starting with my right leg. Okay. And you can keep your hands on your waist, hands up, whatever keeps better balance for you. My hands up seems to help me. Ready? One, two, three, Four. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ouch. Trip over my feet. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Homer, I had to think. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I did the 15 and didn't say it or if I still owed you one. I think I still owed you one. Oh. Okay. Mm, one more set. Mm. And then the next one is that we'll do with the last one. Well, easy. Easy inner thigh. Finish this one. And, oh, everybody ready? Okay. And, one, oops, I'm losing my balance. Two. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, fifteen. Oh, okay. Yay. Oh, water break. Oh. Everybody still hanging in there? We can do it. One more. Easy sneezy. So I'm gonna use my my uh, band for this. My chair, we can use a counter for balance. 
here, chair, and this can be done with or without weights. We did this the other day, uh, outer thighs, pulling out. This time, we're just gonna be doing, let me see, inner thighs. So kind of have, yeah, the more you have that, the better you'll feel the pull if you're using a band. If you're not using a band, it's just inner thighs. You can also do this uh, laying on the ground. Um, for today, let's do it standing up. Oh, we'll do it on the, the ground. I think we have before, but uh, at the beginning. Um, so we're gonna do it just standing up with or without a, uh, a band. And then that would be one. And we're gonna do 10 to 15, all right? And go. One, four, five, six. Feel the pull in your uh, inner thigh. The tension. Oh, 13 and 15. Oh, and uh, uh, left um, leg back out of the way. You can bring it over. And ready? One, two, four. Keep your toes pointed forward. Eight, 11. And last one. Okay. And put your right leg behind. You're going to cross over your left leg. <sighs> Seeing what's going on over there, that side of the house. Okay, ready? And 10 to 15 and go. One, four, five, eight, ten. Last one. And other side, right leg back. I mean, left leg back. <laughs> left leg back, right leg over. Ready? And one, five, nine, 14, 15. Oh. Okay, one more each side and we're done. <sighs> right leg back, <sighs> left leg cross over. I'm melting. <sighs> and 10 to 15, ready? One, four, seven, 11, 15, last one, oops, I did it again, left leg back, right leg you're crossing over, ready, 10 to 15, we can do this and we're done, okay, and one, four, five, six, Work those inner thighs. 14, 15. Oh, yay. Yay. We did it. Day one of our third week complete with legs. Oh, I hope everybody enjoyed that workout and felt it. Oh. So, if you haven't done your cardio, Get your cardio done. Take a water break. Don't take a big break, just a couple minutes. Go outside and go for a nice long walk or run. Marching in place, jumping jack something, get your 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm gonna go do that now. Before I start the rest of my day, go to work later and uh, Enjoy the rest of my day, and I hope everybody does too. Thank you so much 
again for coming in to my home and exercising with me. I hope you had a great workout. I know I did. And tomorrow we're going to work uh, chest and triceps. So join me tomorrow for day 12. I look forward to seeing you then. And remember, today is going to be a very, very good day. Thank you again for coming into my home. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.